Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. Today I've got a short video on some of my 2019 pickups. Uh, pickups are snakes that you add to your collection from outside, introducing new genes uh, to further some of your projects. I think it's important to note that pickups are often selected on the basis of their genetics and are not always the uh, visually prettiest snakes. Um, some of them fortunately are, and we're going to take a look at some today. This animal is a leopard champagne. The champagne gene is a very powerful gene. Uh, it tends to be overpowering in many combinations, but uh, leopard seems to work quite well with it to put pattern back. This animal is going to shed a little bit, uh, but you can see the very strong dorsal striping, and then along the sides, you can see the uh, leopard has started to put uh, some of the alien heads back in. This guy has a typical champagne temperament. He's a little pistol. He, uh, he will bite if given the chance. I wasn't a huge fan of champagne until I saw this guy, um, but I can already see the potential that there is in champagne for other combinations. I've seen some other combinations at ARP Constrictors uh, with this champagne. So I've added champagne to my collection and we'll see what we can do with the champagne gene. You can see the uh, two-tone head. He's got a dark colored skull cap and then a white uh, snout or yellow snout. Um, very peculiar head pattern for a ball python. So that's the very snappy leopard champagne. This girl here is Pastel Lesser Calico. The uh, line of Calico is the F&F &F, Flora and Fauna line of calico which gives a particularly strong expression on the sides it wipes out most of the pattern and the color um, up the sides to uh, quite high up on the snake and as the snake sheds uh, with each shed the uh, white comes up a little bit higher on the snake you can see that um, we've got really nice lesser colors in there, light browns and yellows, enhanced by the pastel. And if I just show you the head stamp on this girl, you can see that her head is typical pastel, head blushing and white lips. So this is a lesser pastel calico female. Next up we have another calico female. Uh, this is a bumblebee calico or calibee, so pastel, spider and calico. Again the same line of calico and the interesting thing about this girl is um, she does carry some colour along the dorsal. You can see the yellow and the, uh, the yellow on her head, the tail here. The uh, striping down the sides extends all the way down to the belly. The calico does not wipe out the black striping down the sides, but it does wipe out the colour and pattern between the vertical lines. So it gives a very clean, unusual looking snake. The dorsal gets a little bit deeper in colour and the sides get a little bit higher and whiter and cleaner with every shed. So this is a Cali Bee or Calico Bumblebee, the same line of Calico. Let's just have a look at the head stamp. Typical spider head stamp, but the, uh, the pastel in the spider uh, gives it that yellow appearance. Nice dark eye stripes. So that's a female calico bumblebee. Next snake is a male. This is a lesser super enchi and yes the colors really are that yellow. 
It's a beautiful snake. This is a little male, uh, so Enchi is already part of my project plans in my own collection. So this little male here, all being well, will be ready to start plugging in and putting Enchi into some of my other projects. Super Enchi, all his offspring will be Enchi. So it's a great way of ensuring that whatever I pair him up to has Enchi in the combination. So a very powerful breeder for me, which is why I picked him up. He's also very pretty. You can see the expression of the Super Enchi. If we take a look at the head stamp, you can see the uh, widening eye stripe at the back and the eye stripes trying to join up behind the neck which is typical of Enchi. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful example of Lesser Super Enchi. The next snake I'm going to show is clearly in shed. This is my leopard 100% het for clown male and if you remember uh, from some of my previous videos clutch number two was a spot nose het for clown project uh, we got several spot nose het for clown babies out of that clutch and this male is going to be put to some of those babies in a couple of years time to see if we can make batmans so this is a leopard het for clown the plan is to put him to the spot nose het for clown combo females and produce Batmans. He is in shed uh, but we'll just get a look at the head stamp because it is asymmetrical. You'll see he's got a uh, yellow stripe on one side of the head that he doesn't have on the other side of the head. Very strange very dark animal even when he's not in shed he's very very dark and you can see the typical uh, leopard pattern on the sides of the animal the extended alien heads that run almost horizontally and bleed into each other horizontally so this is a leopard 100% het for clown and the final pickup that I want to show you is this clown girl uh, she's very dark and has a uh, funky pattern. It is a female. The whole clutch uh, had this very unusual pattern. Uh, if we take a look at her belly, uh, you can see she has a very unusual belly pattern too, with all this uh, pinkish colour and the uh, digital sides and she also has some blushing uh, along the sides of the alien heads here so uh, very reminiscent actually of yellow belly uh, but there isn't yellow belly in this combo it is just a theoretically a straight clown you can see the dorsal has a very very distinct pattern there almost reminiscent of blade or enchi in the clown uh, but you can see it's very very dark so not sure what's going on with this girl we'll um, grow her up and breed her out and for now we're just calling her an X clown so that's it guys uh, those are my 2019 pickups uh, not only are they powerful breeders that fit extremely well with some of my existing projects but they also happen to be visually very pretty snakes as well so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below. I do appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.